Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be, We Have Been Told. We have been told, we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. I am the vine, you are the branches, and all who live in me will bear great fruit. We have been told, we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. You are my friends if you keep my commands. No longer slaves, I call you friends. We have been told, we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Pius X, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Roy and Marguerite Pratt, and a special intention for Robert and Jasmine Cordoso. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude. Graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And the bones, yes, I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, Prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. 
I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those he redeemed from trouble. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to an inhabited town. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way until they had reached an inhabited town. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to human beings, for he satisfies the thirsty and the hungry he fills with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, God's love is everlasting. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your paths, O God, and lead me in your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, what commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Growing up as a child, there was a song on television. These bones and bones, them dry bones. This is the passage that it comes from. Again, interesting how a secular song comes from the scriptures. How many of us knew that? Only those who've read Ezekiel, of course. This powerful reading which talks about death and eternal life. The very breath, the ruah of God found in the Genesis passage that brought life to the world that our beautiful stained glass windows above the altar remind us of the days of creation. This ruah of God, the very breath of God, the Holy Spirit gives life to all. Think of the concept of bones. Anyone ever been to a cemetery? Perhaps. But anyone been when they have taken somebody who had died a long time ago out of the ground? All that's left are bones. So to bring life to something that has been dead for a long time, only God can do that. And so God is revealing to Ezekiel and all of us this understanding of resurrection that the very breath of God, this ruah, continues to fill us with life. Not oxygen, 
not food and drink, but God himself is the one who sustains. And even when someone has been dead a long time, and we see examples of this as Jesus raised so many from the dead in the scriptures, specifically the gospels, and the apostles, especially Peter in the Acts of the Apostles, in the name of God, does the same. But we see this beautiful link between life here on earth and eternal life. But it's also many people, many Catholics, many disciples of Jesus who are very dead. There is very little faith. When people see us, even those who worship God, they do not see God. It is as if we are dead. And it's only when we enter into the Holy Spirit, this renewal of our baptismal call, that the Ruah of God comes from us to give us life that becomes contagious to others. I don't know, something about this person. They're always happy. No matter what's going on in their life, they always trust that God's going to lift them up. The Ruah of God, the breath of God working within us, the very Spirit of God that lifts us up, that gives us hope as we continue to be an Easter people. And please, God, the same Ruah goes with us that when we pass through the waters of death, it is this Ruah that lifts our soul to God until the day of final judgment when our dry bones will be lifted up by the Ruah of God, his very breath, please God, to the gift of eternal life. So these powerful readings help to remind us that in the gospel, as Jesus says, love God, love of neighbor. You want eternal life? This is the secret. You don't follow it, you're in trouble. And by the way, it's both. We can't just love God. If we don't love neighbor, I'm in trouble. So it's not a, well, I'm at 50%. Not good enough. Jesus' standard is here. Lord, may we be renewed by your ruah, by your breath, so that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we may continue to live as you call us to and one day enjoy the gift of eternal life. Let us pray. Let us turn to God, the source of all life, and present our prayers to him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all members of the church may be refreshed in faith by the Ruah of God, the same life-giving spirit that emboldened Pope St. Pius X, whom we celebrate today, we pray. Let us pray that those who exercise authority in our world may be blessed with wisdom and compassion, we pray. Let us pray for those who are suffering from depression, grief, anxiety, and hopelessness, that they may experience the healing power of God, we pray. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit may continue to transform every heart in this community of St. Joseph to the fullness of love, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine, for all frontline and medical workers that they may endure in serving and protecting others, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Roy and Marguerite, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they experience the new life promised by God, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Lord our God, you alone give life. Fill us with your ruah, your breath, and hear and answer these prayers we bring before you this day. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive with kindness our oblations, and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius X, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Pius X, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember your servants, Roy and Marguerite, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with the prophet Ezekiel, with St. Pius X, St. Catherine of Alexandria, 
and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius X, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but to deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. We have been told, we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. No greater love is there than this to lay down one's life for a friend? We have been told we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart as the father has loved me so i have loved you god bless you